Well, let's, let's, we've had what, three, four, this four meetings? Like, like this anyway, we've had about eight, I think four good ones. Um, let's just jump right into it. And I think what everybody wanted to do was uh, um, get the uh, president and vice president and all that stuff again, right? So, uh, if you know, everybody's here and knew it was at seven, um, um, I'm going to suggest who's here shows interest. Everybody has a vote. Does anybody object to that? What will I, uh, I went, since not everybody got the email, I sent out an email with the bylaws, which were the bylaws of the association as it currently stands. They also emailed out the 2009 marketing plan that, that they had worked on. But I don't know if anybody's had a chance to, to read either of those two. Um, so what I wanted to do is do a quick, for those people who have not read it, not read this to you, not story time. But I did want to highlight kind of the objectives and purposes, and then my hope Restarting an organization, a nonprofit with bylaws, is, uh, there isn't necessarily a great way to do that. But my thought was, in the email I sent out, again, I apologize if you didn't get it, we'll definitely start, I'll, I'll shoot out another one of you. Challenge is, I say everybody email me back, obviously that I, nobody sends me one, I assume that something happened to that email, but we'll try to get that, that solved and get a good email list. But the key would be to, to reinstate the association, none of us are, I'm not a member, it would be difficult for me to vote on a member or vote on who the presidents are unless I was a member. So in the email that I sent out, I suggested a $10 interim dues fee to, if everybody puts in the $10 tonight, you can now, you're now a member, we do this thing and that's official, then those that pay the $10 can volunteer self-nominate for a board position uh, and those uh, and or vote if there's more people than need be. Um, so let me let me do a quick recap on this just to try to again I feel like Norma Ray, you know, Union, for those of you who know Norma Ray, the movie Union, um, trying to bring everything to official for several reasons. I think there's been a lot of meetings, a lot of discussion, a lot of great things, but I think getting a formalized group with officers the ability to determine where's the next meeting, what time's the next meeting, where, what's the agenda of the next meeting, who's going to run the next meeting. And we're all busy people or we wouldn't be, uh, we, don't have, we wouldn't have businesses. So we have businesses, we need to try to make these efficient as possible and get through them. So my hope is those that are interested in being board members, uh, I'll go through a little bit of that. And, and I also wanted Stephanie to do a quick uh, recap of the current treasury, just of what the, what is the funds? Does the current association have money and, and Stephanie um, has uh, volunteered to stay on as treasurer. I think that makes a lot of sense since she's got the checkbook and who knows the figures and is approved as authorized to write checks, etc. Um, so let me read what the official bylaws are and then you guys we can decide however you want to proceed. I'm not I'm, I'm not here to try to A run it, be on the board or do any of that. I'm just trying to be a single point a focus to try to help get it organized. And then once it's an official association with paying members, those members can determine the agenda, leadership, and direction of the association, of the group. There's some issue with... There's a lot of issues, yeah. Um, well, this group is not that group. Um, so we really can't vote on anything on that. And we had, there was obviously cross purposes and, and issues. That the, the people in here did had with that. Is there anybody here that is a member, current member? I mean, there's nobody, right? Just of what? Of the old. Old. Well, I mean, I'd say, I'd say, I'd say who's paid dues? Yeah. Who's paid dues? No, no, who's paid dues? Dues, in a while. Who's okay. dues this year? Nobody's right. paid. So, we haven't done any dues. Operating under those bylaws is kind of flawed because we don't really want those bylaws. Correct, and I and I uh, that was going to be my point was going to express what some of these bylaws are. I mean, there's some things that would need to be adjusted. So once you have a membership and have a board. The board can do amendments to the bylaws and the membership votes to change those things. Uh, I would agree. I think there's um, some things in here that would make it very tough, but that's my opinion, and I would voice that to board members to say these are things I think could be adjusted. Uh, the amount of dues, the number of board members required. There's a lot of things in the bylaws that the, the new group that is going to reestablish the, the association may not agree. So all I'm trying to do is get it into uh, versus a bunch of people who might show up to this meeting, may not show up the next, want to vote today, but don't aren't members. Don't, you know, all I'm trying to do is get it. Yeah, and then I think that I agree with your point, which is once the, the association is reestablished, 
we have a board. I, I think that the discussion then goes with a whiteboard like this, what are bylaws that, that are up for um, modification, and then you print out a ballot and you have a meeting and those that are paying dues members vote. Does that, would that help or work? So yeah, what is the point now? Are we trying to do bylaws now? Or are we trying to do nominations now? Or are trying we trying to, to, to do nominations? The, yeah, the, the, the email was here, and then right. we changed what needs to be changed. But according to the current so bylaws, you. according to the current bylaws, nobody in here has a vote unless okay. you're a board member. This, Correct. This can't be a legal or official, but this would not. Well, that, that was that, that was the issue of how do you reestablish? And again, I, 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 I apologize for knowing when they got the emails. In the email, I suggest if you remember, you don't have a vote. Right. No. What? Can I state my understanding, John? Sure, please do. And I have been a member of a number of other nonprofits and mm -hmm. some of Wax and Wayne's like this one. It's a lot easier to reactivate an existing nonprofit than to create a new one. Yeah. And I believe that is the objective that you're asking that we try to achieve. And the way we achieve that is we all become members of the old nonprofit. We then are able to vote. And as soon as we can vote, we vote to change bylaws and board members and all kinds of things. But all of that is based on the premise that it's a whole lot easier to reactivate an existing nonprofit than to build one from scratch. Correct. I mean, the, and the way we reactivate is we pay ten dollars and we're off and running. Correct. I, I, my my recommendation was ten dollars. It could be a dollar. If everybody's got a dollar, I mean, somebody could say, if you don't bring ten dollars, be a dollar. That is an interim due dues or do since it's a single um, then we can uh, official those folks will have a vote then uh, they can the new association can create uh, dues amounts is it five dollars ten dollars hundred dollars whatever you'll vote on it all of that so that that was my hope and our intent was to try to lead uh, this this motivated uh, group to uh, reestablish and the good thing is by reestablish I don't know what the, the funds are that's in there but that is hopefully a, a positive piece. Hopefully there's not, hopefully there's. It's not negative. Hopefully it's positive, not negative. If it's negative, we start over low. I got $10. So that would be yeah, it. So yeah, we have a question or a so comment or a suggestion. What is the current new status of the bylaws that we have that are established now? Sure, uh, let, me, let me go through a couple because of the highlights. If, we, if we're going by those bylaws as to make that would be the first one to change. Here comes Clark yesterday. Uh, you know, that to me would seem to be at least a logical starting point to say, what are the views? Now, you know, we all agree with those. That might be the first thing to bring to the table is... Correct. Know, and, and I'll tell you what the current dues are and, and the goals and purposes as defined by the current bylaws. Because uh, I thought about that. And I think it's like 860, uh, 60 well, million yeah, bucks. Treasure right there. How much are the current days? Um, I can't remember. They were like sixty or eighty dollars. But my thought would be, yeah. if that's going. It depends where you work. If you were a downtown merchant, if you were a friend of a merchant. Maybe it was in the email that that um, Amy sent over to me. Maybe that's why I don't have it here. But. My thought was if we did a dollar tonight to reboot everything, that was your first down payment on your dues. It was a dues down payment, and then if you wanted to continue in the group, the group determines whether it's 20 bucks or five bucks a month or whatever it is. I second that. Uh, okay, and, and that's part of also creating uh, in, in here. So, so here, here's what the objectives and purposes of the, of the current, uh, current bylaws have obje uh, the obje objectives and purposes. To provide a broad-based membership organization which can promote the general well-being of downtown Newberry, one. Two, to provide a high level of communication and information sharing among the membership. We all even see that emails wasn't real working or mailing or any of that. So I think that's a great way of starting to share. I know some of the folks that aren't here tonight, so they didn't even hear about the open on Sunday before Christmas and would have loved to have known that and would have been open also. So I think there's some... Issues with communication. If nothing else this group does, share, yes, somebody's decided to be open on Sunday, you've also decided, we, you know, whatever. Third, to promote the many positive attributes of the downtown Newberry throughout the state of South Carolina. Four, to provide for and promote a dynamic and healthy retail environment within downtown Newberry. And five, to support the endeavors of other public, private, and not-for-profit organizations that serve the best interests of downtown Newberry. 
It is a nonprofit, Section 501C. Uh, the area defined in here, uh, if you go out to Newberry, there's it's the light blue area on the Newberry City website, and that's and it, it's referenced in here. But there was no fact appendix that that the previous people could find.